Hey everyone, John Adolphe here and we are in Liverpool at 110 Lincoln Ave North. Town of Salina. Here's what, here's my beautiful wife Kristen getting ready to take some fired up photographs of it. This is what the neighborhood looks like. All right, so what we got here is a split level. 50 by 100 feet is the uh, lot size. All right, and uh, it says here three bedroom, one bath, but I believe there's a half a bath in here. So that's what I've been told at least. Uh, let's see if we can't, I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to go around the back, but we'll get you inside and maybe we'll take a peek out the back window or door. Okay, here All we right, go. so it's got vinyl siding and we've got a deck out back. Fully fenced yard, stockade type fence. Nice. All right, now that you got a peek of the backyard, now we'll take a look inside. All right, we're coming in through the back door and we're gonna start where the garage is. And it's got carpeting in the garage. This is the first time in 28 years that I have seen carpeting in the garage. So uh, apparently, Maybe they were using the garage as something else. <laughs> All right, let's go inside. There's your front door right there. It's got some nice slate tile flooring. Nice hardwood floor going up into the living room with a kind of a, a dark burnt orange carpeting that's gonna to need to be replaced. All the carpeting from what I'm seeing so far, like in here, is, is, is you know, dated, worn, or fading. This room is anything you want it to be. This could be a small bedroom or better yet an office and I'm assuming that this is going downstairs which we'll go in just a second. Living room is medium size. You've got a working fireplace and of course I always say that when you're about to move into a home, especially a HUD home like this, always get a chimney sweeper to come over and Sweep the chimney nice and clean. We've got nice big vinyl window here. That's nice. Got some ceramic flooring it looks like here in the small eat-in area. Sliding glass doors out to your deck. And a cute but dated kitchen. Uh, could use some sprucing up. Well, you know, if you like the apple country look. Everything's intact. Everything is, is, is not beat up or anything. So you could use it just as it is. Repaint it if you like. Let's head upstairs here and take a look at bathroom and bedrooms. Okay, we got some hardwood floors going on in here and some tongue and groove paneling in the bedroom. Not bad. Again, tear out all the carpets and replace them. Got vinyl windows going on. In here I can see, you're gonna see, by the way, you're gonna see mold or dirt and mold on windows. It's just that it's the humidity of everyday use, the humidity of a property that's been vacant for a while. You just clean it and go. That's what I do. I'm not trying to minimize mold, I just don't get, myself personally get scared off when I see you know, a little bit of mold here and there. And we do live in central New York and not Arizona. All right, let's head down into the basement. Okay, got a block walls, got a Hey, halfway decent looking furnace. And got my wife over here taking photos. And we've got gas, hot water tank, high efficiency. Which mean, all that means, high efficiency means that you've got one of these blowers on here that blows out through a PVC or an approved uh, type of material that, that blows it out um, instead of having to go into a chimney. Uh, typically when you have a, a hot water tank that's a gas has to go, the exhaust has to go into a chimney with a high efficiency, you don't have to do that. 
Okay, and electric, of course, doesn't have an exhaust anyways because it's electric. That means it's two rods sticking into the um, hot water tank and it heats it up and there's no exhaust. You probably, now you know more than you would probably want to about uh, hot water uh, tanks. Okay, I'll give you my final thoughts and, oh, wait a minute. What do we got over here? Would this be considered a half a bath? No. Quarter bath? Maybe. <laughs> Tenth of a bath? Yes. All right. Okay, well, take in consideration the work that needs to be done and HUD's original asking price of $75,000, unless another uh, price pops up on the screen here. Uh, I'm going to give this a half thumbs up. I'm not too enthusiastic one way or the other about it. Obviously, as it gets closer to the 60s, low 60s, then we'll give it a thumbs up because the amount of work that needs to be done here in order to make everything right, you need to have some motivation in order to do it, especially if you're going to be living in it. So half thumbs up at 75,000 as it goes towards closer towards down towards 60 thumbs up all the way give us a call we'll show you how to get a great deal on this HUD home or any other HUD home in the state of New York 315-695-6434 I'm John Adolphi have a great day and thanks for watching another one of our videos